How do you feel about math this year? It's pretty awesome. I don't so that's that's been exciting um, and fun, and um, I think it makes it lighter, and I think they have uh, less stress when they first go online, and I can um, check the assessment and see, okay, what exactly do I have to teach? I don't have to teach everything in that chapter. I just, I know what it is I have to do to teach the standard. Um, and also online, it it's, um, tells us what IXL goes with it, what um, I can teach from my book. Uh, sometimes there's a worksheet that's there that I can download. Um, sometimes there's um, homework sheets that I can give the, the kids. And um, so it's been really helpful as a teacher as well. Well, this year we are um, converting to a standard-based program. So uh, we're able to plan what we're going to assess and build uh, skills to that point and benchmarks, targets, what we call them. And it seems um, easier to do because we know where we're going. So uh, we pull from different you know, depend just on the textbook that we pull from different sources and um, I like it because there's a map and I know that I'm going to start here and I'm going to end here during this period of time, during this two weeks. Here we're uh, trying something different. We're going more towards the standards um, and that means I don't have to teach everything in the book which has given a uh, relief to me. We have um, worked on essential standards, so we broke down during the year what essential standards we want each grade level to, to study and broke them down then to trimesters. So when you look at a trimester with the students, it's great because you can look at eight essential standards that you're wanting the kids know in a given week what they're working on, what the learning target is each day. The assessments are broken down um, in little parts rather than having a three-page assessment on five different skills, which I think is a lot better. For a standard assessment, which is only assessing that essential learning target. Um, so tell me um, about the assessments. How's that working? Uh, it always has the standards at the top, which is clear. And um, it doesn't seem like there's too many problems. It doesn't take them... Uh, usually all period to do it and um, the uh, one thing that they love about it is if they don't pass they can actually show work uh, later some evidence that they've actually practiced where, where they blew it and once they show me that and they're ready for to take a retest they will take a second test and then they can actually get a better score and I think that they hold it better when they have an assessment that is focused on one or two skills rather than five or six. We have upped kind of our um, expectations of them and that 85 percent is what we want mastery to be. The testing usually happens, it's teachers sometimes give you a choice and sometimes not, but you can take the test if you want to on the right day. not as fearful of taking an assessment now because they know they and have the confidence that they know what they're doing. I think the other benefit has been um, it allows the teachers to work with the kids that didn't pass it, that they end up um, spending one-on-one -on -one time doing remediation, lunchtime or after school, but it allows you to work with the, the child one-on-one. -on -one. And if I don't get a good grade, then I go to resources like, to help me understand. If they don't do well in assessment, we, uh, well, I look and see if it's one student or if it's the whole class, and if it's the whole class, then I know I need to go back and reteach something. Um, if it's one or two students, then I'll work individually with that student and give them a chance to do that again. I, um, if I don't go 85 or above, then um, then I have to read. And then what happens if you don't do well on the test? Well, you can get a retest. Like, you can just retest what you were doing 
so, and you have to study more to get this time to get. And what it happens right. after you take it again? I usually get somewhere like in ninety. Sometimes I get nervous when I take it because sometimes I fail it. Oh. And after I take it. You retake it then? Yeah. What usually happens after you retake it? Um, I think I will get a better score. I'm seeing student learning improve. It makes me feel more confident after I get a better grade. It makes me feel better so I can try to get a better grade than my not so good grade. So I can, uh, like, so to say, improve. I think their grades are improving. I think uh, with the goal sheets too, they, they put their uh, goal, what their goal is, and they also keep a, um, what's that, a key of their um, scores and they see that they're doing really well and, and they really want to keep those scores high so it does raise their grades. And what happens on the second time usually? You get it right. You get it right. How do you feel about that? And then we've seen great improvements in the retakes. The kids have been um, excited for us to grade their retakes, excited to get their grade back because they've really prepared for their test and they feel like they know the material. We make math more fun. Uh, I think this is a great program that we're creating here and I'd like to see it in other subjects but math I really feel is it's working and it's um, I'm enjoying teaching math more because of it.